Hello guys and welcome back to some more Battlefield 5 on Solomon Islands. In today's video I wanted to take the time just to discuss what we sort of know already about the next Battlefield 6 instalment and I also wanted to take a look at what features they may be implementing and also likely release dates. So without any hesitation let's jump into it. Just before we jump into the Battlefield 6 news, the gameplay in the background is with the Commando Carbine. These were my specialisations for it so if you want to give it a go feel free to use those specializations is it's a really good weapon particularly on Solomon Islands. So moving on to the Battlefield 6 then. What prompted me to make this video is Jack Frags recently uploaded a video saying that the first trailer could be coming soon. He looked at the previous two launch trailers and they've both been in May which suggests that we're going to get some more information on Battlefield 6 very soon. Also as we all know Jack has contacts probably within DICE so if he's putting videos up now suggesting that the launch of the first trailer is near it probably is. So on to the 10 most important things you probably need to know so far but please bear in mind at this point that this is mostly speculation from, from unconfirmed sources. So let's jump into number one. Allegedly the game is likely to be upping the player count to 128 players from its current maximum of 64. This I think will be really interesting and I think it could mean the maps will be crazy big. I'm interested to see if this is true but I do like the idea as it will add to the true battlefield style of chaos and action. Number two, the location of this year's game could be set in Kazakhstan. Again this isn't confirmed yet but it has been teased. On to number three, the 128 player maps could be cross generation so a feature I think they'll be crazy not to put in given the success of for example Warzone. How they will balance this though between sort of console and PC I'm not sure and I think it will be a hot topic but as time goes on I'm sure more details will come to light. Number four, the maps could feature extreme weather events while playing such as storms and tornadoes adding to a more immersive experience. Now I do really like the sound of this and it sounds really cool so it's something we'll look forward to hopefully and hopefully we'll get some more information on that in the coming months. Moving on to number five and I just wanted to talk about the release date. So the release date is still unconfirmed but what has been sort of leaked is that it's likely to be in holidays of 2021 so what they mean by holidays of 2021 is it could be between October and December at some point which seems reasonable and that's when most of the games come out and that's when we're expecting for example the new Call of Duty so if I was to put my money on that I would definitely say it'll be between those three months. On to number six so we are expecting the announcement to confirm hopefully in May that it will be set in the modern day and all leaks so far have suggested that this new Battlefield 6 game will be set in the modern day. I think if they do another World War game we have now had a World War 1 and 2 game back to back and I think they have to set this game in the modern day. If you look at the success of Warzone and Modern Warfare, this is what people want at the minute. To have something along those lines, or along the lines of an improved Battlefield 4, would be insane on this next game. So, on to number 7. The next-gen consoles and PC have been confirmed as platforms that this game will run on. However, the details are still unclear if releases will be on the previous gen consoles, such as the PlayStation 4. For now, that's something we'll just have to see and hope that they support that but I understand if they don't release it on the likes of the PlayStation 4 because they are developing this for next gen consoles and it could mean they have to underdevelop the game and not release it to its full potential but again that's something we'll have to see. On to number 8 one of the big hot topics is will there be a free battle royale mode. I honestly think that they will be missing a trick if they don't make a battle royale mode. They dipped their toe in it with Firestorm but never really got behind that product and left it to pretty much die. There is no information out there at the moment to suggest there will be a battle royale mode in this new game to compete with the likes of Warzone but I think if they did put one in there and they learnt lessons from Warzone and Firestorm of where yeah. those games have kind of like gone wrong I think it will be hugely popular and welcome to the Battlefield 6 or Battlefield community. On to number 9 and one thing that makes me really optimistic about this game is the amount of resource there they are actually putting into it. So the studio at EA that were developing the new need for speed game have all been put now on battlefield 6 for the time being which of course means there's a delay to the next need for speed game but i think it's a really positive sign that 
DICE and EA are putting a lot of resource behind this. And one of the more recent additions is that DICE LA have also been brought on board with the, devel with the development of the game. So again, it, it really shows this time around, given the flop of Battlefield 5, DICE, I think, are going to be taking this game really seriously. And finally, on to number 10, and this is just my opinions and my hopes for the game. I am the most optimistic I have ever been for a Battlefield game so far. The launch of the game can't come quick enough for me. I feel like... Warzone's had its day now and unless Activision sort out more problems than I can list in one video with Warzone, I think Battlefield 6 is going to be a hugely popular game if DICE get it right. I can't wait to get into a Battlefield game again as Call of Duty is yet again showing me in recent months why I left the franchise originally to go to Battlefield. I am optimistic about the Battlefield 6 game and I know so many of the Battlefield refu refugees playing Warzone at the moment are anxiously waiting for more news and release dates. I just hope this time around they can deliver a quality game that is going to blow Warzone out the water. I will be keeping a close eye out for the Battlefield 6 news coming up over the next few months. So make sure you do subscribe with notifications on to ensure you don't miss out on those videos. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are around Battlefield 6 and what I have discussed in this video as I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it as well. If you liked or found this video useful please drop me a like or a dislike if you didn't and enjoy the rest of the gameplay on Solomon Islands and I will hopefully see you in the next one. What? How, what? How has he done that? Kind of, yeah. Don't worry, I got you. I can't move. You're all patched up, buddy.
Oh, squad kill assist. I think he just got that one, the guy there. I was shooting at. 